go. Three, two, one. This week's What's the Word 60 Second Spotlight is on uh, Smoke Not Summons by Charlie Ann Holmberg. Now, there's two narrators in this book. There's uh, Sadness. Uh, oh, that's the wrong word, but the Sadness. We're going to call her Sadness. <laughs> sadness and Roan. Um, Sid, sadness is <laughs> basically a, a human vessel that can be used by others to bring forth demons. And Roan is just uh, like a, a bad thief, but he's got some magic up his sleeves. Now, um, this book it has a lot of action. It starts all the way from the first uh, chapter. It goes all the way through the book. But I think that's why we, I felt the characters uh, were a little bit skimpy on their, their, what they talked about with their characterization. Um, the evil characters are just evil. The uh, Sid, Sidness and Rome, they're uh, basically so, <laughs> so skimpy on everything. It's kind of like going outside without uh, without a coat on. you got clothes on, but you just want more. That's how I felt about the characterization. Now, there's uh, this is the first book in the series, but it's not a cliffhanger. So you're going to read this book. There will be a satisfactory ending. But if you want to find out more, you're going to have to go read more about them so smoke and summons by charlie and holmberg um four stars in this spin awards we're probably we'll preview a book for you we do it in 60 seconds or less wow three in a row oh man oh oh man i know this character's name and i can't remember it that's sad I just, but I, I just feel blanked. so happy right now. I just blanked. And I, I apologize to Charlie and Holmberg because you wrote a good book. It was really good. I'm not one for fantasy because I think a lot of fantasy writers today Repetitive. Have, have no, they have great imaginations without writing skills to match. Well, that's true too. But Charlie and Holmberg did a good job on this. Her skills do match her writing. It's a good story. I'm probably going to go read, even though I gave it four stars, I'm going to go read book two because I was pretty happy with it. All right, well, I'm going to have cover. to cover. I'm going <laughs> to... <laughs> Bury my shame of forgetting the main character's <laughs> name. <laughs> so Sorry, Ms. Holmberg. I really didn't mean to do that, but hey, Rowan, you know I got Rowan. I got 50% of them you right. You know what? You're going to buy the second book, and I'm probably going to re- go read this one. So. I might lend it to you if you ask me nice. Well, hey, look at that. All right. <laughs> no, I'll give her credit where credit's due. If it's a good book, I'll buy it. It is. All right. Well, then. Miss Holmberg, you got one at least one sale coming <laughs> from me. Oh, she's going to get a bunch. Oh, uh, I'm sure. I'm is. sure if it's that good. And you know what? Uh, it's like I said earlier, you know, I just don't like a lot of the fantasy nowadays because it's very repetitive on the idea scale, I think. Yeah, this was pretty um, good, how they the couple things you know, in it. She built the world as it went around or it kept going on, but it wasn't like overbearing and there wasn't a whole like two chapters of information right. dumping it. It was just action, action, action. So I was pretty happy with it. All that. right, well, we're going to have to go check that out. Definitely go check it out. We will have the link in the description uh, when this video premieres, and oh. we'll also have it. I was going to say, unless you got Kindle Prime, you can't get this book until next month, but you can pre-order it. Yeah, but you can pre-order it. And we'll have that link down in the description um, and also on the Words on Words short that will be coming out on Friday. So, I'm good. All right. He's good, people. I'm good and embarrassed. <laughs> <laughs>